Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to build a periodic table app in Android Studio using Java. So let's begin. I have already made the app, I am just going to explain you what's the logic behind this. But first of all, let me show you how this app works. So you have to run this app selecting any AVD. So this is the AVD, the app is launching. Okay, so now the app has been launched on the AVD. So on the main screen you can see there is a heading and there is an image below. Then on pressing and clicking you move to the next activity. So on the second activity there is a short description on how you can use this app. And again after pressing next this moves to the third activity. Now you can see there is a seek bar here. So when you move this to the very beginning, you can see that the first column of the periodic table is displayed. Then with the increase in the value of the bar, the column number of the table increases and the elements of that column number will be displayed. And at the end of the seek bar, I have added the lanthanoids and actinoids. And for each element, their respective atomic number is written adjacent to the formula. So this was the output. Now let's jump onto the code. So for the code, first we have to design the activity main.xml. I have added a text view in the top then an image view and then again an image view clicking on which will take us to the next activity. So for this I have added the on click function as move to next. Now for the main activity dot java which is the java file for this xml file here. So here you can write the on click function inside the public class then you declare a variable intent to jump to the main activity 3 after that now we have next activity int uh, that's activity main 3.xml I have added two text views for the heading and description and then a third text view for moving to next activity on clicking and for this I have used move to next 2 yeah here as the on click function and for the java part it's same as you did in the previous activity so here then for the next layout that is for activity main 2.xml I have added a seek bar this is a seek bar and a list view and you have to mention their IDs also then for the main activity 2.java here you have to set a maximum limit and the current progress of the seek bar. So it's given here. Then you have to call the function set on seek bar change listener and inside this add a function on progress change here. So this is to control the progress of the seek bar and then you have to add start and stop tracking functions also here. After this you have to declare a function generate table. So it's yes it's here. So this is a function generate table and you have to initialize its value for different value of seek bar by declaring an array and initialize accordingly. Then using array adapter at the end yes here so uh, you have to use add adapter and by using this you can you have to add all these content in the table and then call set adapter function so this was the code okay so let me run this app again So here on the main screen there is the heading then the image and then after clicking on this 
you will jump to the next activity so here is the description then again after pressing next the third activity opens now here you can see the seek bar and the elements below and with change in the value of seek bar the columns also change and different, el different elements will appear and here are lanthanoids you can scroll down to see all of them and then the actinoids again you can scroll down to see so this was a wrap you can also launch the app from here this is the app again so this was all for today thank you